Joshua. Yes, ma'am. Hi. How you doing? How are you? Pretty good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I think I know why you're here. No. You've got a little friend up there. <laughs> He's been up there for a while. So how long have you had this bump? I had a car wreck. And I see. And when I come home from the hospital, I was in there for a week, and it started uh -huh. off as like a little pebble. And I went back because they had to get the stitches out. And he said, it'll eventually go away, and it did. And this is obvious. It, obvious. Just kept it didn't go away. Because May 11th will be 18 Seven. years. OK. Sometimes this can be caused by trauma, you know, a car accident, maybe hitting your head really hard, or maybe falling, maybe a cyst formed after this surgery that he had. The skin gets trapped underneath. And so now, instead of skin shedding off into the environment, it's now shedding off underneath, creating a sac, creating a cyst. I want to touch it first to okay. see what, what's going on here, to see what this is exactly. Let me see. Where is that scar? OK, I see it right here. It moves around really nice, which mm -hmm. means, thank goodness, it's not bone or anything like that sitting up, and it's not stuck to you. I think this is a cyst. My main concern is trying to remove this without leaving with a little coin purse up there, like you can put your coins in or something. We don't want that extra skin up here, right? No. We want to try to remove this and minimize that kind of line. So let's get rid of it for you. Let's do it. So Josh has an existing scar there. And so when I'm making this new excision, I want to try to minimize scars as much as I can. So maybe I can use the old scar line he has as my sort of roadmap. 